to see this paper wrap. Time to get his people fed. Tokyo appetite. Yes, he is a sneakerhead. He packs mail. Packs mail. Yes, that's for his enemies. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Watch Dogs Legion playthrough. Uh, today, I guess we have to play this dude. This, I, I don't even know where he is. I don't know. Anyway, let's get right into the video. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jack boots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget. I don't know uniform. if I have to wait. Uniform. Uniform. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention <clears throat> to you unless you let them take a close look. Are you always such an Are you kidding me? You know, I hate going in quiet anyway. Ugh. Nope. Yo, watch this. Ugh. Yo, sit down. <laughs> Yo, sup? Okay, okay. This guy's down. Don't have to worry about this dude down here. Alright, I'm going in. Yeah, I probably should take off the mask. <laughs> Alright, T-Bag, we're in. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cash oh. will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected oh, by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. How do I take the mask off? How do I take the mask off? <laughs> Nigel won't have anything important on his Oh god, I'm scared. Seems okay. no scared about him. More than most. Yeah. I was Albion too. Nope, 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 that, nope, 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 nope. Me and Cass were close ones. Looked up to him. He was bigger than life. Excuse huh? me? Literally a tech genius. <sighs> and I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. So no, 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 yeah, I'm just making this like way more harder for myself. And oh, Intruder god damn it! Alert. No, okay. I just gotta get past this guard. Okay, okay, I think we're in the clear. This door clearly requires a security pass. Fucking great. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be mm. careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. Okay, 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 okay. We're doing good, we're doing good. Okay, just distract this dude. Run in here quick. Oh. I left the mask on, like, always. I, I didn't think I would have to... to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cassini's death. But yeah, as I was saying, I didn't need to. I, I thought I didn't need to play any other character. subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass. Oh, jeez. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame, and recurring flashbacks. However, oh he appears to have channeled his anger right and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. Is it done it yet? It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Fuck me. Almost makes you pity him. Oh, jeez. No, it doesn't. He's a dickhead. Can't believe that's who's supposed to be secure <laughs> in dickhead. London. Yeah, well, Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And I guess never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. Do this now? Come on. Oh, thank God. Please don't be a garden here. No, are you kidding me? No, I'm just gonna run upstairs. Just gonna run upstairs. Oh. Welcome to Project Themis. 
our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. I promise you that with the launch of Project Emmys, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you'd called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right. The Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well. For one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh... No. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. Jesus. Okay, gotta go. Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, God. Yo, what's up, guys? Gotta go. Thank God they're not going to shoot. As long as I don't shoot, they won't shoot. On second thought, maybe they will. Oh God. Oh. Okay, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> Thank goodness I was wearing a mask. One way of putting it, and other ways he's fucking crazy. I doubt a secret <laughs> project run by a megalomaniac like him means anything good for London. Okay, how do I get out of here? This place is like a maze. Oh, what's this? <laughs> right here, right here, right here, question mark. Oh, nice, nice. Found it. Okay, okay. They want me to go deeper into this place? Oh my god. Okay, okay. Man, I can't hear you. Okay. Swimming. Fucking hell. Our top secret project is automated. Get the heck out of here. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. Oh. We have to get Themis out of his hands. Don't worry, we will. Briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. Okay, hopefully I can play Wrench now. Here's what we know about Nigel Cass. 
he's rolling out something called Project Themis. The lack of information on its own is worrisome, but what little we do know is Cass wishes to remove the human element from law enforcement. We also know he's partnered with Titus, which is never good. Titus does other work with Albion. Nasty shit like autonomous weapons, human targeting algorithms. So Titus is our best lead to fill in the blanks on the secret project, but their security is notoriously difficult to crack. So Hamish has proposed an intriguing solution. Albion's been working on a new microdrone, something my contact told me about. That shit's not even in production yet, but if we get the plans, we can manufacture our own. To get around Titus security. Exactly, exactly. They're weird as fuck. Supposed to do maintenance on Albion's other drones, but the smallness of them means they can slip into places nothing else can. Well, there we have it. Our next step is to infiltrate the Albion drone manufacturing lab and get our hands on schematics. And then you lot will have a fun little gadget to break in the Titus. Love it. I'll shoot you the location. Be careful. Albion doesn't like to share his toys. Well then. Yep, sorry guys, no wrench today, unfortunately. Or well for this video, I mean. You're coming up on the Albion drone facility where the micro drone is being developed. This had better be worth it. It will be. Okay. You're gonna need to disable the security system protecting the R&D lab. Come on, jump up. You know you want to. Damn it. You know, screw it. This is for wrench. <laughs> Go. Yeah, what you got? Sit down. Woo. Big drum. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Oh, what the? Nope. Let's go. You sit down too, fool. Rawr. Yo, I'm like a ninja. Drone, drone, big drone. Get away, nerd. Don't you? Ah. Oh god. Please, I need help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not good. Jump down. Move, move, move. Get outside, get outside. I had the wrong gun out. Okay, okay. My aim is terrible. Yo, this gun sucks. Die. Okay, okay, run this way. No, there's a turret! Oh, goddamn. <laughs> uh, okay. There's a turret? Oh my god, why is there a turret on this side too? Oh, thank God for Aiden's pistol. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, those are a lot more turrets than I thought. Jump down, Aiden! Run, 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 run. Oh, come on. Get away! Yeah, let's see you try. Okay, okay. I'm going in. 
Yeah, my aim can use some work. In this game, at least. I'm not worried about the, the turret. Okay. Take the power back. Oh yeah, that's right, he can do this. Turn off everything. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Yeah, I think Aiden's gonna be my second character that I go go in with. But yeah, the reason I'm not playing wrench today is because I was playing with him last night and I kinda when I wasn't recording off screen, I kinda died. And then I saved it like that, and then I have to wait for him to get out of custody. Okay, interact. Nice. Okay. I've downloaded the schematics. You can leave whenever you like. All right, sounds good. And that's the second mission, eh? Where is the door? Oh yeah, it's up here. Exit the area. I hope that's the last mission. Whew. Now that we have the schematics, we can make micro drones of our very own. Whoa! Fast on that, Max. We need to get into tightest. Oh my God! That person got shot. Down Project Famous before Nigel decides. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! What he was saying? We don't have much time. There's a turret right there. There's a turret right there. All right. We completed two missions. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Must have been to 11 when the world ended. At least it felt like it at the time. Teenage years make a heartbreak worse. Plus, a lot was going on. Couldn't stop it at the time. Dad tried to flip the house. Funny that it all ended upside down. Known for being optimistic, started feeling different. Couldn't.